Hello and welcome, 17th of July, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. This is very hot already, might be spending summer this week, sheltering in the shade. What are we doing this week? My garlic is ready, that'll be coming up. I'll be taking up the final lot of my fair early potatoes. My onions have flopped, it's time for them to come up. And some raspberries are ready. Let's go. So my garlic's ready, it's about 50% brown leaves I would say, still a little bit of green there but they are ready to come up. Started soaking the cloves in water in the middle of November, developed the roots, they eventually went in soil and then got transferred out to the allotment at the start of February. I'm going to extract them from the soil, then let's find a shady spot and I'll have a chat about it. So here we are, under the shade of the cherry tree, and here's my garlic. Three types. These, these ones had been sat in a cupboard for a year. I grew them the previous year. They sat in a cupboard, all dried out. They rooted all right and they've grown. Maybe not as big as these ones who've been around the block a couple of times. So they've been planted kept some back and recycled they're not a bad size and these ones are the ones who've been around the block about four times four or five times keep some back plant them again keep some back plant them again last year i did measure them all and weigh them it's too hot for that at the minute maybe i'll do that later but i've measured a couple they're about five centimeters across all is good in the world of garlic. Right, it's time to take up the last of my first celery potatoes. Planted these end of April. I've been taking them out of the ground for the past two or three weeks, but time for them to come up. Sharps Express and Casablanca. Got a patch here and a patch there. Can't remember which one's which. We'll find out when we take them out of the ground, won't we? These are my Casablanca potatoes. They're definitely bigger than the ones I've been taking up the past few weeks. You might have noticed or remembered I have them up with grass instead of soil. Not one green potato amongst them. So the sunlight has been stopped from getting to them. Soil was kind of moist in this weather. That's pretty good. Whether they've got this size. If I'd have just left them, I don't know if it's the grass clippings adding nutrients to the soil or not. Um, I'll experiment with that next year. Right, time for the Sharps Express. Dig. Dave. Dig. 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 So the last of my Sharps Express potatoes up. Not as many, not as big as the Casablanca. There's four plants there, four plants here, but still decent and a lot better than I had last year. I've still got my second daily potatoes and my main crop to go. I'm gonna get them onions up now before it gets too hot. Senshu yellow onions, planted in autumn time. I think it was October, November time. 
they were the only ones in the garden centre at the time, so I've never grown them before. I would definitely grow them again. Like I said, most have flopped, but are looking all right. I might leave a couple of the big ones that haven't flopped in the ground, see how big they get, but you can't fail to be happy with that, can you? Right, I'll get both of these up then. To turn them out of the ground, I'm even happier with them. One, one has gone wrong. The rest, just decent size all round. How could you fail to be happy with these? I'm gonna put them in the shed slash greenhouse to dry off. Well pleased with these. Definitely would grow. Shenshi yellow onions again. Right, let's enter fruit zone and learn about the raspberries. So I have got raspberries. Autumn fruiting raspberries. But I did leave ten or so canes up instead of cutting them to the ground like I did with the rest. These are the ones that are producing raspberries and say old wood versus new growth, green versus brown. So all the old canes producing some nice raspberries already. But I think I will do that again next year. Leave some old canes. The new canes are they're still to produce, so it might be a month or two before we get anything off those, but all good. We've also got currants. Black currants. I have tasted these. Very sour. Jam, jam. Got even more currants there. All splendid. I got my current, um, got my current pruning wrong last year. <sighs> didn't get as many. I didn't prune them this year, and we've got some, some currants. All good. I sit here under the shade of the cherry tree. Oh, I can survey the fine harvest we've got today. My onions. Garlic, stand up for the potato, that's no good is it? All is well, all is well. Oh, I don't, oh, even my squash, pumpkins and sweet corn, that were a disaster two or three weeks back. I didn't think any of them will pull through, but they're looking, they're looking like they're gonna be all right, if a little bit behind the times. Each year, at the allotment throws up new challenges or situations. Last year, did everything too soon. Potatoes got hit by frost. I had to build some wind protection for my courgettes when I brought them out. This year, I think I've swung the other way. And I thought I left it a bit late, but I've got a couple of bare patches still. Last year, it was rammed. This year, it's a bit more steady. But I could not be happier at the minute, man. If, if not one more thing got produced, I've got my onions, I've got my garlic, raspberries, currants, potatoes, plenty more potatoes, 
on B2, etc, etc. Well happy. Right, I think that's it for this week. Thank you ever so much for watching. Click subscribe, send me a comment. I'll see you next time. Cheers. As you've stayed till the end, you can look in the greenhouse. Tomatoes there. Chilies there. And there's the onions. And the garlic. That's it.